Well, you guys got another video here for you. Can we safely uninstall Microsoft Edge yet? That's a question I get quite a bit in the comments section and people want to see updated videos on Microsoft Edge and how to uninstall it. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as it quite sounds because yes, it's just a browser, but it does have a lot of parts to it that are deeply embedded into Windows. And there's a lot of applications that are quite dependent on Microsoft Edge WebView 2. Now, this is another part of the Microsoft Edge that needs to be uninstalled as well. And you can see here, there is Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Cloud, Microsoft Security, uh, Dynamic 365, uh, Microsoft 365, and many, many more that are all tied in to the actual uh, web browser itself. So if you go removing this again you can see here copilot plus is part of it as well if you go removing this it will actually break some stuff and you have to understand that microsoft are patching this constantly to fix a lot of little loopholes that people find on the ways of removing edge now you can still remove it but like i said it can cause problems these are the actual applications we're talking about right here if you look at the three dots here, it says uninstall is grayed out. This is because Microsoft don't want you uninstalling Edge, their browser on Windows. And they also don't want you uninstall Microsoft Edge WebView 2 runtime as well. This is also grayed out, as you can see here. Now, if you live in the EU, there has been some sort of court cases going on uh, with Microsoft and the EU and they want to be able to allow people to uninstall. Microsoft have now patched this little area where you could change your country to, say, Ireland or Germany, and uninstalled it. They're not letting you do that anymore, and there's no workaround. Even using VPNs and things like that just doesn't work. So removing Edge may cause update failure loops. Also, you can see here, there is some other issues related to removing Edge itself. So removing the Edge browser might not be so much of a problem. It's actually removing uh, the other part, which is to do with the uh, web view. If you start removing the web view too, this is when you could have if issues with certain programs. And this is just a small selection of programs that you will have issues with if you try to remove the web uh, view too part as well as the browser. Now, again, like I've said before, there is ways of going about it. This is probably one of the ways that you can go about doing it, and this is one of the more successful ones that does actually remove the Microsoft Edge browser, and it also offers to be able to remove the Microsoft Edge browser and the WebView 2 as well. But bear in mind, you can use either the uh, batch file that he's got here, or you can use the batch file that he has uh, offered on his site, and you can also use the executable file depending on which way you want to go about doing it. All you need to do is copy the code into Notepad if you want to use the batch file and then paste all this uh, content inside and then create your batch file. It's that simple. All you need to do here is click uh, Save As and then give it a name. Just say Edge Removal or something like that and then call it .bat, which is the extension for batch file. Uh, it's just named bat for short and then go all files and then click save and it will save that file as remove.edge.bat as you can see right here i'll drag this over we don't need this um document here it's over on the left hand side off screen i'll just drag this over there we go so that is the batch file and this is the executable file i'm just going to use the executable file and run this as administrator and it will be very quick and it just removes it like so that is the edge browser gone and the web view to uh, remove from the system as well like i've said before do this at your own risk i make videos to show you how to do stuff i don't make videos to tell you to do stuff these are just how you can do it a lot of people always get that mixed up and they always attack me in the comments section down below and it really is up to you at the end of the day what you do on your pc do i advise removing edge and the web 2 uh, view part from your pc no because it will cause an issue and someone may need that on their system later on down the line and i guess what you've just removed it now you can go ahead and re-download edge as well and reinstall it on the system if you wanted to this is a video on how to uninstall edge it's not perfect there is going to be 
uh, parts where once you've removed it, it's going to break certain things. So, and that's because it's deeply embedded uh, into Windows and it's used for a lot of applications. So you just have to bear that in mind when removing something like Edge from the system. Another thing to bear in mind is you're using a Microsoft product. At the end of the day, it's their operating system and you just have to get used to some of the things that they have installed on their system. If you don't like it, don't use the operating system. Use another operating system. It's that simple. But Edge has always been a part of Windows and same as Explorer has as well. And it's still part of Windows now. And you're not going to be able to stop that anytime soon. Because as soon as someone finds a workaround to be able to remove it, unfortunately, Microsoft will patch that and it stops it from being used. Another thing to remember, not all people in the EU are being able to uninstall it for some reason. I've had that in the comments section as well. But if you are in the EU, you can actually uninstall this uh, by going into the apps and uninstall it that way. It's that simple. So... It's entirely up to you whether you remove it. I would personally leave it alone because you'll probably end up breaking your OS. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.